Hello everyone, this is Mohamed Dinayatullah from the Saimeda Institute, Koti, Hyderabad. So in this video lectures, we are discussing about the shortcuts of the topic limits over here. Okay, so we have completed one video. In that video, what we have done, we have seen the shortcut of uh, like uh, limit x tends to a x power n minus a power n divided by x minus z is equal to n into a power n minus 1. That shortcut, uh, the TS, a time saving result we have covered in that video. Now in this video, we are going to see some more shortcuts, some more time saving results because time management is very important important in the examination okay so all these questions whatever we are discussing the questions over here in this videos that is very important gunshot bits for the ESET examination 2023 okay so in this video we'll discuss some of the other shortcuts what we are having okay now one more time I'll remind you that Sai Medha is giving an opportunity excellent offer for the online course online course means what is included in this part topic wise digitally recorded videos after covering all that videos we are having the practice practice sets also practice set one two three number of practice sets we are having after practicing that you can write the self test also and many more we are having the previous bits all that included and that is only for 3333 rupees double three double three this is an excellent offer understood now let us uh, uh, focus on this topic over here what is the shortcut we have to discuss for this topic limits so what is our shortcut over here? Limit x tends to 0 sin ax by x it is equals to a we have taken and we are having one more part as limit x tends to 0 tan ax divided by x it is also equals to a. Now whenever we are taking the sin function, sin function and tan function we are taking. Which part we are taking? Sin and tan. Whenever we are taking sin and tan part, so limit should be x tends to 0. First let us discuss about the condition. What is the condition? When we can apply the standard limit, when we can apply this TSR, we have to discuss the condition over here. So if the question it is in the form of sin ax by x it is equals to and the limit is x tending to 0, compulsory limit should be x tending to 0, then only we can use this shortcut. Understood? So what we are writing over here, sin ax by x it is equals to, what is the value of a? We have to write that okay what we have tried we have to write the value of a if it is limit x is tending to 0 and which functions we are having sine function and tan function okay limit x tends to 0 tan ax by x it is equals to a that's it okay now suppose if the sine function and tan function means we are taking the trigonometric functions over here similar to sine and tan part if you are taking inverse trigonometric functions hyperbolic functions inverse hyperbolic functions also for the sine and tan we can use this same shortcut understood trigonometric function inverse trigonometric function hyperbolic function inverse hyperbolic function also but it should be what a sine and tan okay for both of them only we can use this uh, shortcut now let us see this part what is the first question limit x tends to 0 sin 3x by x is given just now what we have discussed sin ax by x it is equal to what we have tried we have to write a value in this part also what is the a value we are having sin 3x by x means a value it is equals to 3 so the answer will be what? 3. Directly we have to write the answer as 3. That's it. Now next part. Limit x tends to 0 sin 5x by x means what is the answer? Answer will be 5. Okay. So a value is equal to 5 means the final answer will be 5. That's it. Now next. Limit x tends to 0 tan 4x by x. Just now what we have discussed. We have to apply this concept for which functions? Sin as well as tan. Okay. So for tan also what we have to take? We have to take a value. So a value is equal to what? 4. Now let us see this question over here. Limit x tends to 0 sin 5x by 5x is given. Sin 5x by 5x is given. If it is in the form of sin ax by only x, we are taking the value as a over here. Now, but over here what we are having sin 5x by 5x is given. Okay. So if you are concentrating over here means what is happening? Suppose if this x we have taken, whatever the part we are having over here. If you are taking one example, let us take one example over here. Limit x tends to 0 sin x by x it is equals to what we are writing over here 1 means a value is equals to 1. The concept is what is the condition over here means if this part, this part and this part is same means directly we are writing the answer as 1. Understood? Suppose if it is x over here and we are having x part over here then the answer will be what? 1. Similarly, if we are having 2x part over here in the denominator also we are having the 2x means then what we have tried? Again we have tried the same answer as 1. Understood? Similarly, what we are having over here? We are having 5x. Similarly, we are having 5x. So the answer will be what? 1. Okay, so we are writing this part as 1. Understood? 
so we can uh, solve with another method also what is the another method means sir? as we are having in the denominator x only so what we are doing means this phi is there this 1 by 5 1 by 5 we are taking as a constant we have taken okay 1 by 5 as a constant we have taken and what is the formula trick for sin phi x by x sin phi x by uh, x will become what phi so into phi we have taken phi phi gets cancelled then again the answer will be 1 only okay so better to, to do like this whenever we are having the same parts phi x phi x is same means the answer will be what 1 understood now next part limit x tends to 0 sin phi x by sin 3x is given now till now what we have discussed means we are having only the numerator part as sin ax and the denominator part is x but in this case we are not having the denominator now what we have to do we are having one tsr for this part what is that means whenever we are having the function in the numerator as well as in the denominator then directly we have to take that values only how we are getting that values i'll explain you now suppose if you are dividing if you are dividing both this numerator as well as denominator by x by x so what will happen sin phi x sin phi x by x we have taken divided by sin 3 x by x we have taken so we are dividing both numerator as a denominator by x okay now after this what will happen what is the value for this part sin phi x by x it is equals to phi divided by what is the value for this part sin 3 x by x it is equals to 3 okay so instead of writing this step directly what is the number we are having we have to write that part okay so if sin phi x by sin 3 x is given means answer will be phi by 3 okay next part limit theta tends to 0 tan a theta divided by tan b theta is given either it is x tends to 0 or else theta tends to 0 whatever the variable it is there okay so what we have to write the direct answer in this case what we have taken we have taken the numbers over here in this part also we have to take the numbers means the exact numbers are not given over here so what we have to take now the answer will be what a by b that's it now next part limit theta tends to 0 sin inverse sin inverse is given but what we have written over here only trigonometric functions we have discussed but in addition with that point uh, what i have told you we can take trigonometric functions inverse trigonometric functions hyperbolic functions inverse hyperbolic functions also we have to use the same tsr so what we can write over here sine inverse of phi theta by theta what is the value of a over here so we can write this answer as phi that's it okay now next to part limit theta tends to 0 sin h inverse of 4 theta divided by theta now we are having inverse hyperbolic function same concept we have to apply the answer will be what 4 okay now next to part limit theta tends to 0 sin inverse of 5 by 3 theta divided by theta again what is the value of a we are having a value it is equals to 5 by 3 okay now next part limit x tends to 0 sin 11x divided by tan 33x is given whenever we are having the numbers we are taking the direct numbers that's it so sin 11x by tan 33x means what we have to take the numbers over here 11 by 33 what we have taken 11 by 33 if we can cancel this part means 1s are 3s are so we are getting the answer as 1 by 3 now next question limit x tends to 0 tan 121x divided by tan 11x is given again we have to take the same numbers only so if you are taking the numbers means 121 divided by 11 121 divided by 11 we have taken now let us cancel this part this is 1s this is 11s so it is equal to what 11 now next question limit x tends to 0 sin 8x divided by tan 5x is given now whenever we are having this part means uh, either it is sin function in the numerator as well as in the sin function in the denominator we have taken this part if it is tan function in the numerator as well as in the denominator we have taken this part now what we are having one is sin function in the numerator other is tan function in the denominator also no need to worry about that part only we have to take the numbers okay whether the sign is in the numerator or denominator or the tan function is in the numerator or denominator what we have to do we have to take the values that's it okay we are taking the values and we are writing the final answer so sin 8x divided by tan 5x is given so what we can write 8 by 5 understood so we have written this part so with this we have completed this shortcut of the limits and the remaining shortcuts we have to cover in the coming videos at the end i want to uh, once again remind you that we are giving the excellent offer for the online students e set e set point of view online course only for double three double three three thousand three hundred and thirty three this is an excellent offer okay it was never before and it will be never after offer that is for only 3333 if you want any more information regarding this online course means you can contact on the given number below on the scrolling thank